Hey everyone, hope you're doing well today. I've just been minding my own business, scrolling through YouTube, then I see those. During my whole lifetime, I've never seen any optimization that gives you a 340 FPS boost. So I was about to delete my channel, as obviously these guys are pros at this, right? Or are they? In today's video, we'll debunk all the common myths that these YouTubers are calling optimizations so we can finally put them to rest. But before we get started, I just want to say that some of these tweaks use to make a difference in older games or on older computers, but let's see how they're holding up in 2025, shall we? Let's show the benchmarks starting off with game mode. It got a 0.5% boost on average and 4% on the 0.1% lows. It's safe to say you can keep it off. Full screen optimizations enabled got us 1% boost on average and 2.6% on the 1% lows. I recommend you keep it on. Setting NVIDIA Reflex to off gave us a 2.2% boost on average and 7.7% on the 0.2% lows. Oddly enough, setting it to off also seems to fix that janky spray shooting feeling in CSGO and Valorant. Bro, my bullets are actually phasing through people right now. I swear to God. We also saw no improvement in latency with it on, so I'd recommend you keep it off for good. Windowed Borderless gave us a little bit higher 1% and 0.2% lows with no latency increase. You can also use Borderless if you'd like to alt tab faster. Balanced versus high performance power plan made absolutely no difference. I'd recommend using Balanced so your CPU won't be running at full speed when you don't need it to. Disabling visual effects like transparency and animations in Windows did give us a slight FPS boost of 2% on the 1% lows and 2.5% on the 0.2% lows. I'd recommend disabling these effects. Using the most common NVIDIA control panel settings for performance, we've got 1.5% FPS boost on average and 2.2% on the 0.2% lows. Surprisingly, letting Windows manage the core parking gave us a 2.5% FPS boost on average and 3.5% on the 0.2% lows. However, if you care about DPC and ISR latency, keep all cores unparked regardless of this benchmark. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling didn't change anything significantly, so I'll let you decide if you want to keep it on or off as it tends to perform differently in specific games. I personally keep it off. Uh, Good old timer resolution. I'm not even going to give this any more attention as it doesn't do anything. Using NV Cleanstall seems to reduce our 1% lows by 2.5%. However, don't be fooled by the numbers as disabling MPO can fix black screens and stuttering in some games. The 2.5% FPS loss is a price I'm personally willing to pay. The internet gurus are saying that cleaning your temp folder will, uh, do something, I guess? Well, it doesn't do much, but it's worth a try. Okay, now that we've gone through all the quote-unquote optimizations, I think it's time for the real game changers. For this, we'll go into the BIOS and change up some settings that we rarely see in the videos mentioned earlier. First is hyperthreading. Off gave us a good 17.1% FPS boost on average, and it's clear that you should disable it for gaming. It will also decrease your CPU temperature drastically. Efficiency cores turned off gave us up to 37.6% FPS boost on the 0.2% lows and 31.6% on the 1% lows. This helps a lot with removing stutters and decreasing input lag. Turning XMP on gave us a 7% boost on average. Feel free to enable it if your RAM supports extreme memory profile. Disabling hardware prefetcher gave us between a 3 and 6% FPS boost, and it also made the game feel more snappy, so I'd recommend disabling it in the BIOS. Now this is not really an optimization per se, but overclocking your processor can actually get you some pretty good results. In our case, this was up to 6.7% on average. However, it'd be impossible to fit an overclocking guide in this video, so I'd recommend looking it up on YouTube, but please do your research first if you are new to overclocking. And that's it. Now let's go over all the benchmarks and see what got us the biggest FPS boost. But hold up, does that mean these guys are legit? 
Well, let's do the math together. The thumbnails of these videos claim they'll give you between 500 and 770% FPS boost just by tweaking your window settings, which we just proved is impossible. In our tests, we've got a rough 8% boost. So if you really had 60 frames per second, then done their optimizations, you'll now have 64.8 frames per second and Bruh. definitely not 600. Anyway, I hope you learned something new and this video finally puts an end to the clickbait titles and thumbnails. Please like this video so it reaches more people. Leave a comment if you have any questions or video requests and I'll do my best to get them out to you. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Love you all and I'll see you in the next one.